What is up YouTube? Um, I know I usually have a kind of energetic kind of video, intro to my video, um, but uh, today I kind of just want to talk about something a little bit more in the serious side of things as a developer. Uh, what I'm talking about today isn't something that was planned. Um, uh, it's kind of like a reaction video to a lot of the emails and DMs I've been getting on Twitter, Instagram, email, etc., YouTube comments and messages. And, and it's it's sad and um, because I, I've been receiving a lot of messages about people who talk about how um, they kind of work in toxic toxic work environments in the office. Um, like I got an email the other day, I'm not going to say who it was, and he told me how uh, his other developers at that company actually put him down in regards to his code. or. And it's not necessarily because um, this person's bad, um, from what I've heard, but it's because, you know, when other developers, what they kind of do is they'll say, why can't you write code like this person? Or like, why did you not, you know, like they'll say things like, um, you know, um, you should start learning, like, you know, they'll start saying things in negative ways. And I don't want to go too in detail about this person in case that person's, uh, you know, the people he work with actually watch this video or watch me and my follow my channel and so I don't want to go too much in detail and, and it's kind of sad and um, you know and it kind of breaks my heart hearing about these things because I mean I think like yeah these things happen in the industry to be honest there are going to be environments that you work in right um, companies you work for where other developers can be very toxic um, the work environment, not dev environment, but work environment can be very toxic where, you know, I, and where employers or other developers can try to put you down. And for me, it was very heartbreaking because, you know, the one thing that we as developers need to have when we code or when we build projects and we work in code, because coding is honestly an art. It is an art. And if people bring down your confidence when it comes to working with art, um, you know, it can really mess you up. And I have personally experienced that from people, you know, I freelance with and, you know, even just being a junior developer myself, I'm not a junior anymore at all, right? Um, I know how to do what I need to do at my job, but these things happen. And I think one thing to note is that, you know, there are going to be toxic work environments in the industry. And you know what? If you're actually going through these things, if you're working in an environment that's very toxic, leave me in the comment below. But... I think my advice to everyone who works in a toxic, who works in a toxic environment, um, a work environment, I think one thing that's very important to know for yourself. Um, first of all, people will critique. You will get critiqued, and you should get critique. And it's good to get critique, and you know people look at your work and tell you how to improve. But there's another thing when people come and they try to compare you to other people, and when they try to say, you know, um, they bring down your confidence, and that's not good. There's a difference between, from getting critiqued on something, on your code, and people comparing you um, and trying to bring you down. And, and there are a lot of times when people bring down their confidence and don't even realize they're doing it. And so my recommendation for something like this, if any one of you are going through this, um, is number one, don't ever compare yourself to other developers. I mean, people think differently. It's, you know, people, you know, and, and first of all, like for me, I work with really good developers at my company and my senior developer is absolutely amazing and I learned a lot from him, right? Um, but, you know, one thing to note is that you should never compare yourself. First of all, some people got one to school, had professional training, some people didn't. Some people, you know, put more effort than others or some people are just, can think better logically. But more than anything, we all learn our own pace. We all grow in our own pace. I mean, different trees grow in different, like, you know, different, you know, they grow differently in regards to how fast they grow or not. And we as people, as developers, we grow on our own pace. Now, you know, you should be willing to put in the hustle, the hard effort to become a great programmer, especially if you have a job already, right? Do not grow stagnant as a developer. Do not say we are. Have the desire to always grow. But what's important is that if you do work in it, an environment where people constantly put you down and they say negative things to you um, I think it's very important to just remember that don't listen to what they say don't let what they say get to you don't let what they say say things to you in a way where it makes you second guess your skill level or your I know if it, this industry is even meant for you don't let anyone ever tell you if you can succeed in the industry or not let you yourself determine that it is you that determines your future, not these other people. And 
it, it breaks my heart to hear about these things, you know. And um, like, yeah, just I mean, I don't, uh, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna do no cuts or anything. I'm just gonna read this as it is. I mean, I'm gonna upload this as it is right now. I um, usually have like cuts here and there, but it just it, it breaks my heart, man. And I can tell you this, I've personally went through that, you know, not within my company, but just working with other people, and and and. and it sucks. I mean, even as YouTubers, there are people out there for either their own gain or because of their own pride will put you down. Um, or even people who subscribe and follow. Um, but yeah, there are other YouTubers out there who personally attack me for things they don't even understand. And, and it sucks, but these things happen. As we're living in a world like this, where there are negative people out there, haters out there, and just people who are toxic in general, you can't let them bring you down. But more than anything, just keep moving forward. And you know what? If there are negative people in that office, use that office, that company, as a stepping stone to get a better job. That will not be your last job as a developer. This niche, this industry is exploding. You will have many more opportunities out there. So, yeah, I mean, for example, I'm here you go. I'm, look, I'm looking at this. I went to Corey.com and someone asked this question. Um, what is the worst work environment for a software engineer? And I've re I was reading through the comments, and I'll try to link this in the description below. Um, I won't be able to do it tonight, maybe tomorrow, um, when I upload the video. But, you know, here you go. Uh, there are some things that I actually really do agree with. Uh, for example, um, Ahmed, who is a software developer, he said, We can point out two main types of factors that affect an individual's work experience. Human factors. Having at least one complainer, the one, who, the one type who complains about everything, work-related or not, without suggesting solutions. Another person, having at least one blamer. Whenever something goes wrong, he or she is the one who starts pointing fingers to someone else, who's not instead first getting out of the problem, trying to figure out why did it happen in the first place. Another person that can make an individual's work experience bad, lack of awareness, unconventions, and industry standards. When you point out that the RESTful web service is a state that cannot be called RESTful or say, I think we should mind conforming to name conventions or state where, et cetera, et cetera. Um, when a person can't even name those things, that's a red flag too. That's why you have to be able to understand the basics when it comes to coding. Um, you know, um, backbiting is common and sometimes it's in group and nobody gets called out for it or, or even just copying code i mean it's good to copy code and learn from it but it's just copying code and not learning from it that's bad true right but also poor management morally it leads moral ethical psychological diseases to infest like shown above poor management technically it gets you in crushing deadlines rework code driven requirement investigation exposes you to needless responsibility and expects you to make up for mistakes done by others Right, um, yeah, and so there's a lot of things. Now, actually, I want to make sure I save this, but um, yeah, man, I mean, there are things like this, there are people like this in the industry everywhere, all around the world. Don't let this get to you, keep coding, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of a real video. I'm not in my room, no special lighting, I'm in my car, but not in my usual place. I just want to talk to you guys. Um, so hopefully, I can get this live by tomorrow on Monday, um, before I get into work, but anyway, either or, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If you guys are facing anything like this, leave a comment down below, like this video, and leave a suggestion on how to overcome things like this, or what would you do in this situation, right? Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is Krishan, Life of a Developer, and I'm out. Peace.